<laughs> hey guys, what's up? If it looks like I'm tired, it's because I am. We had a long day. We'll talk about it when we do our little mukbang at the end. Stay tuned for that. After all my cooking videos, me and my husband sit down. We, we either enjoy this meal, critique this meal, or just eat and don't talk because we're so hungry. But it's been a long day. We drove down to Orange County. We had a long photo shoot. It was super hot in there. There was a lot going on. So I decided to make this babish pasta because we basically had all the ingredients already in our fridge from cooking. I love binging with Babish, Babish Culinary University. His stuff is so good. I feel like sometimes it's a little complicated, but he says this is like an easy, late night to go, quick pasta. So let's hope that is. It's like this cheesy tomato pasta. So we're gonna get started. The water and the pasta is already boiling. And yeah, the key ingredient to this is the cherry tomatoes. We're gonna burst these little babies and I'm very excited about that. So let's get going. Okie doke. So let's get started. So we always start with a little bit of olive oil and put that around. My pan was already kind of heated so the oil is nice and hot. And then we are gonna add shallots because that's what he had. Honestly, like these I think are better than onions. They smell so good. They smell more flavorful. So we're gonna put those in. And kick those up, kind of like onions, just like till they're translucent. He does that for like a couple minutes, but he definitely don't want to burn them. So let me turn this down a little. Mm, already smells so amazing. If you can see, we have our squiggly pasta over there cooking. Um, we're only cooking that a little bit of the ways because it's going to finish cooking the rest of the way. In with the tomatoes, but yeah, cook that for a couple minutes. We are going to add in our garlic. Push that around. Garlic and onion is just like my favorite smell in the whole world. Like every meal that starts with garlic and onion is going to be a home run. And then we're going to add, this is optional, a little tomato paste. The cherries, I'm sorry, the tomatoes do burst. So he's like, if you want a little extra tomato flavor, which my husband can literally eat this out of the can, so I'm just telling him not to eat. He spreads it around thing. We're gonna just kind of spread that around to make a sort of base. And he's like, once the base is kind of orange, then we are going to add in our tomatoes and a little bit of water. Mm. And believe me, this smells so amazing. Oh my gosh. Trying to get everything together. And then we're going to add in our tomatoes. So, mix that around. And then we are going to add in our cherry tomatoes. We rinse these off and we are going to put them. I've never, I only made these with nachos, I think. I don't know. So put those in. We add a little bit of water with them. I don't have it too much, but just a little bit. He said if anything starts to burn, I don't really know what that means. I mean, I know what that means, but like, so. Just kind of cook those around and then we're gonna put this over for about five to 15 minutes, checking on it occasionally. Okay, so once your tomatoes have popped, I don't I've never done this before, but I think they're popped. I think these are popped for the most part. We are going to add the um pasta we just cooked in. So and then we're adding pasta water. So I kept about a half a cup of pasta water aside. And put in our noodles. And kind of finish cooking them here. And this is like the same kind of pot he used, so I don't know how much pasta he put in his, but we're gonna add about a half a cup of the pasta water. There's some pasta, there's some pasta in the pasta water. Okay, let's see, kind of mix this around a little bit in 
the sauce. So it kind of keeps cooking in the sauce. I'm gonna kind of coat this and then we're gonna cover it. But now it kind of like gets all in the sauce. Hopefully our tomatoes popped enough. I'm again, not really sure what that means, but we got some of that tomato paste in there too. And then we're adding a ton of cheese and butter, so I think it's gonna have really good flavors. We did add some water because it was kind of burning at the bottom. So I could actually even add a little bit more of this pasta in there. You kind of just mix it in. Put it over for a couple minutes and continuously check on that. Now we're adding the Parmesan in. We did a little boomerang. <laughs> Satisfying. Okay, and then we're gonna put some butter in this as well. Show this on my Insta. Insta getting all of it. I should be doing this on TikTok. Throw in some butter. More butter. Yeah, this, I'm filming it like a TikTok. It should be a TikTok. And more butter. <laughs> okay. So now we have all that goodness, and now we are going to stir it on in. Which, again, I always think I put a little more pasta than these people put in theirs because I'm always having like so much pasta after all this. <laughs> But he mixes it in, folds in the cheese, and try not to waste any cheese. Trying to get it all over so it's gooey. Mm -mm -mm. It smells good. He has babish at the beginning. He's like, I do not care about calories. I do not care about anything with this dish because, let me tell you, this is cheesy, ooh. Cheesy and buttery. I also set aside some Parmesan for it, the topping, if we want it even cheesier. Mm, that Parmesan smells delicious. And now we're really getting that tomato flavor in there, you can see. I lost my other stick of butter, which is probably a good thing. Oh, there it is. I just want to make sure like all of it gets cheese and butter. Mmm, this is a cheesy pasta, which I haven't made in so long. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. melted we're gonna turn off the heat add salt pepper oh he put the mozzarella on did you turn off the heat I think you turn off the heat after this but let me just double check so now we have that so we're gonna turn off the heat because I think that's what he did so he did in fact kill the heat and then he put salt and pepper on it and then he put the mozzarella on top and let it sit for two to three minutes. So I guess because it's still hot, it's gonna melt on there, I guess. I'm not sure, but he did, in fact, turn off the heat. So, we are going to do just like Babish. Kind of stir all this in. This is just such a funny, such a funny dish. I have no idea what this would be called, but it does smell delicious. Our noodles might have cooked a little too much, but hey, that's okay. Let's go get the mozzarella cubes and put them on. So now he just put like mozzarella cubes on top and just for a couple minutes covers them, stirs it in like gently but not too much. So <laughs> this is so funny. It really feels like one of those things on TikTok where you don't know if it's going to turn out good or not. <laughs> so just kind of put them everywhere, I guess. I guess because the pan is so hot. Let me see here. Try and move these around. 
I mean, it's kind of how we do ZD. We kind of throw, I don't actually know what we don't do mozzarella. All right, so we have that in for two minutes and then we're gonna cover. There's a couple more mozzarella cubes. All the mozzarella in there. Now we're gonna cover for a couple minutes and come back and check. Okay, so it's like the weirdest thing because there's no heat on it anymore. I guess he kind of just, I don't know, it's still kind of blocky. And he doesn't stir much into it. It doesn't look this blocky. So I'm maybe just gonna stuff them in the hot pasta more. Like melty, melty. It's so weird. Why would they not? Why would you not put the heat on to have them cook? Because they're still pretty blocky. Okay. I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes, I guess. I don't know. Should I turn the heat on a little? <laughs> Maybe a little. But then I guess it's not really melting that part. <laughs> of course, I always screw up the final steps, y'all. I mean, I'd rather it be like stringy and melty than like chunky. We're just kind of hide it in the, in the sauce more. Maybe it was too on top. Close up of the pasta. It is super warm and super cheesy. I was doing some string pulls for the thumbnail and it looks bomb. Okay, me and my husband's gonna eat this super quick because it's nice and warm now. Alrighty, eat it while it's hot, babe. <laughs> so it's super, super cheesy. I have yet to, oh my God, look at that. That looks so cool. Mmm, <laughs> well, it's definitely cheesy. Let's see. It's hot. Woo! I love hot pasta. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That is cheesy pasta. Mm. <laughs> it's really good sauce. Yeah. It's very good. It's so interesting. Yeah, we turned up the heat for the mozzarella because I don't know. His must have just been really hot and ours wasn't. Mm. 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 That is cheesy. That's what you get. Mmm, <laughs> it's good though. It's yeah. really funny like that. We don't use it that much when we make our pasta. Oh, the second mozzarella cools down, it just like uh, yeah. gets chunky. We don't make it on our ziti anymore. We used to have that, or even chicken parm. Like, I don't really like a ton of mozzarella on mine either. But it does give it a good pull, so. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's definitely one to eat. I was so hungry, we got so hungry. The sauce is good though, it's like not too tomatoey, not too cheesy. No, it's interesting. I guess like the parmesan, well the garlic. Mm hmm Garlic shallots. The flavor is delish. First time mm -hmm. mm. using shallots. Mm. I'll leave it for now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. Because <laughs> I might step on it. Did I get it on my shirt too? Oh my gosh. No, I'll get it. Okay. Uh, no. No, it's okay. You don't have to. You know what I see? I see my foot going in it and then I have. You need to squeeze your belly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glutzy. Thank you. It's really good. Yeah. I know this is so delicious. We got new pasta dishes from Radon. Mm. In case you don't know what you're eating. <laughs> I love it. I saw Stuck Pappas have them. I wonder if like Radon is like started with people that have like Alzheimer and stuff like that. <laughs> so they know where things are. Everything is labeled. <laughs> I mean. Sometimes we don't know if it's flour or sugar. That is true. <laughs> I mean, people don't know. <laughs> if it's labeled. I know, but I never know. I'm like, <laughs> is this fine sugar? Is this granulated sugar? Like, I 
love that it has. You drink out of Ray Dunn mugs every morning. They are the best mugs. You have his, hers. Well, the, their mugs, the ones I'm using, they're like not symmetrical. <laughs> so there's like, there's always like a nice area where it fits your mouth nicely. Mm, with a little ridge. <laughs> Mm. This is so good. Why was I so hungry? Oh my god. We had the worst lunch ever. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I refuse I refuse to call it lunch. Uh like we always say we're not fast food people, but the only fast food near this photo shoot we had was Sonic. And we were so hungry. And I like Sonic. I've traveled like 40 minutes to get to a Sonic before. This was awful. Their tater tots, we were waited and like in the drive thru for like. First of all, the kitchen. Ten like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like in the drive thru window and there's nobody inside. Not nobody in the inside. kitchen, not in the. Like, there's nobody anywhere. <laughs> At some point, I saw somebody run in, but then they ran out. <laughs> it was so weird. And then eventually, they gave us our food, which was not. Hot, we on. didn't, and we didn't order a lot. We were thinking like the people behind us. So there was a lot behind us. Probably thought we ordered so much food. <laughs> we had one burger, two sides of tater tots, I had one corn dog and a pretzel stick. That's it. And no, I didn't eat the meat. I always just eat the corn. But we waited like 15 minutes for it. Literally like 10 to 15 minutes. And I was like, you know what? Maybe it's fresh. Maybe it's hot. Whatever. The tater tots were like literally disgusting. Like we couldn't even eat them. We were starving. I only had one. I had like three. And that was because I was like starving, starving, and I was like, no, I can't. It was so bad. The water was good. I had good water. But. And that's the worst to me is when I don't eat food I like. Oh, I get so annoyed. Once again, why I like to cook. That's why we didn't go out to eat after. Like, because, you know, normally we'd, like, stop and eat. Well, one, we wouldn't get home because we were, like, two hours away from home. With two traffic. And and yeah. Two and a half hours. With traffic, would have been, like, three, three and a half. We wanted to get home. I mean, we had these ingredients to make, so I was, like, really excited to make them. It's just better than any place we go. So I was so disappointed with lunch. I was like, oh my God, that was so, it was literally the nastiest. And I should have known because it literally, it has like one and a half stars <laughs> on Yelp. It's in the Mission Viejo. If you guys want to know, like that's where that one was. It literally had one. I was like, well, maybe people just like are haters down here because it's fast food, but no. <laughs> I would leave a bad review on that one. I mean, it was almost like not edible. And it wasn't like we didn't really eat. My pretzel stick was so dry. Can I give them a burger review? Yeah, I'm glad I did. <laughs> I feel like my mm. friend, those guys. Oh, yeah. So, the bun was dry. Mm -hmm. They didn't put any condiments in the bag. And we were like, waited so long, so we kind of. Oh, you were dry. pissed. You're like, man, I had those. I hate those. Was not, you said those assholes. You're like, those assholes. It was something. Like, there was no ketchup. You in did. The bag. There was you nothing were so in the bag. Bad. I'm like, at least put one bag of ketchup in the bag. And by the way, he says apples like in a, like not in a mean way, not like so then, assholes or bastards or whatever you say. Yeah, probably bastards because it's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't like a serious. He wasn't like pissed, but so the bun was dry, no ketchup, nothing in the bag. The patty, the patty itself is pretty good. That's the thing; they have so much potential because the patty has a good flavor. That's interesting. But between having a dry bun and no ketchup in the bag, <laughs> they ruined it. <laughs> Yeah, um, we were just so hungry because you had no breakfast. It was like noon. We were brought to a photo shoot, which went good, but it was so hot. I feel like I'm still like recovering. My makeup has been on since like 7 a.m. My sister helped me with my hair and makeup. Well, you can't see my hair because she did it earlier, but I got my makeup on for you guys because I had like hair in it. It's been bothering me all day and I've been keeping it on, but I'm going to take it off real soon. But I wanted to cook this for you guys and I'm glad. How's this the tomato? is the highlight of the day. Oh, I know. I got really excited to cook this. Like, we could be so exhausted and tired, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to cook some pasta. Mmm. And it was really easy. Babish, though, sometimes can be super complicated. <laughs> He's like, this is an easy go-to. It is easy. But you have to, like, you know, wait for the tomatoes to pop and get some tomato. Like, it is easy, but you got to chop stuff up. It's not, like, the easiest. Like, just throw everything in and go. But as far as the Babish dishes go, this is one of the easiest ones. Definitely. And you made it like perfect. Thank you. I think it's good. I don't know if it's just because I'm hungry about it. Mm. Mm. I love a cheesy pasta. This is very cheesy. It's really good. The tomatoes are good. Yeah, it gives it a different flavor. Like I can taste them, so it means they do something. 
Yeah, they did pop. And then there's a little tomato paste we put at the bottom. If you don't have mozzarella, don't worry about it. <laughs> Would you be over the mozzarella? I'd be fine without it. Mm. But that was a fun little part at the end where he's like, ooh, we're going to get crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just saying if you're... Because this is like a midnight snack for him. Mm, that's what he said, yeah. So, like, you most likely have maybe a little bit of Parmesan in the fridge. Right. Have... Tomato you know, paste. Tomatoes. And onion and garlic. Like, all of We always have onion and garlic. Have that, yeah. So. Now we just keep that stock. We keep onion, garlic, vegetable oil, rice, flour. Like that's our like we have to always get stock. Because you really do have everything when you have that. The necessities. For sure. Mmm. Pasta. Pasta. Well, we always have to. We have so <laughs> much pasta in ours. But when I make pasta for myself, I usually just put like cheese on it. <laughs> but I should make this stuff because it's not that hard. But when it's just me eating it alone, it's not as. But also, once you identify the parts that you like, right. you sim can simplify. Mm -hmm. Oh, those tomato paste, so cheap. Mm -hmm. You know what it is, it's onion garlic. But you're my sous chef, so if you're just ordering sushi or something, I don't want to be like, just cut some onion and garlic. Babe, you know I'll cut it for you. I know you would, but <laughs> what? you would do everything, but. Come on. If you want a little onion and garlic. <laughs> I feel like that's an us thing. But that's why I like these cooking videos because like then we can like cook together. We did cook last night. Like we do cook together off camera too. Mm -hmm. But I love these cooking videos because it's like shiny well, things. We always cook together. No, I know, but I mean maybe like I guess what I'm saying is like you know if we order separately, like if you order something and then I make pasta, then it's like not as exciting. But we cook meals for ourselves too when it's not on camera. This is what I'm saying. Like the fried rice, the chicken. We made that. We don't always show it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just chop some onion and garlic. Put it in a tap of water. <laughs> Aww. Always have it ready. Meal prep mm -hmm. for the week. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. I just love hot, fresh, good food. I love that I know how much goes in it. But Sonic, I just wanted to like. This is why I don't eat out. Like literally, fast food, everything. Even Benihana, I'd rather make it at home now. Mm -hmm. I told my sister about that experience with the spoon, with the sticky stuff and the ice cream. I'm like, oh that kind God. of like scarred me from it. That was more than sticky stuff, it was like hot sauce. Like someone else's hot sauce that they just ate. <laughs> and he put on his spoon and Moses took a bite of his ice cream with it. I stopped eating after that, I was like, that's so gross. <laughs> I don't know what it is, and it's like cheesecake factory, like anything. Like once you have that one bad experience, like no. And I love any hot, but that was, I mean, that was pretty nasty. <laughs> well, I like your rice more than their rice. My rice is a hit. I made it for the mom and sister too. There was no leftovers. I thought I was gonna make a lot because it'll be leftovers. No leftovers, which is great because that means it's good. Mm. Yeah, see the mozzarella gets kind of gunky. <laughs> yeah, kind of like nothing cute. It was fun at the beginning, but now I'm like, no. <laughs> Why does it do that? Because once it cools down, it's just like. But Parmesan doesn't do that. That's not, not mozzarella. Mmm. Uh. Mmm. No, this is so. This was such a highlight of the day. We made a really good shinsel last night. We should do like an updated. Shinsel mm -hmm. potato help we make it. I mean, not like crazy flavorful or, oh, well, it is good though. But the way I coat, I think it's just the way I coat it now and the way you fry it. Like it's, we you have the that. oil hot, huh? And also the corn and like the whole meal, like the way we serve yeah. it. Yeah. With the corn and the mashed potatoes. Like one of our favorite meals or something. <sighs> How'd you like being a model today? It was too hot for me to... It was hot. I did one straddling Moses. <laughs> all I can think of is like, oh God, this fine does not look good. Because I just know I don't feel good. Like this whole like pregnancy, I did not want to be like on top. Because I just know how it looks in my mind and I, I know how it feels in my mind. So I'm just like... That was cute. Your belly was here. And... What? It's not the belly. I'm worried about everything else. It's like, oh my God, I thought I was going to smush you. <laughs> no. It was cute. Because you couldn't sit up at one point. Because I'm not flexible with my legs. But you are flexible. Like I'm no, not that's like... the only way I'm not. So how did you sit up? Because you did end up sitting up. 
I folded my leg. Oh, that's right. That was cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was funny. I think it's a good photo. Like <laughs> it was, it was funny to say the least. I was like, this does not feel sexy, but at the same time, it kind of does because it's like you're kind of just no. getting the baby right there with you. <laughs> I think it's too sexy. Oh, <laughs> I always want to get on top, but I always feel like a whale. I'm always like, I'm gonna crush you. Like I really do feel like I'm gonna break your hips or something. No. Not even close. And it wasn't like that before pregnancy, but now that I know my weight, my pregnancy weight, I'm always like, let me just not. No, not at all. Okay, one morning, if you suffocate, <laughs> we get a little more. Oh, my belly, as you can see from me standing up. It is so good. It is. You want a little more? Or you good? I'm just eating. Okay. <laughs> away, everything. Yeah, this is pretty bomb. I was so hungry. We had chips on the way back. We were in traffic for like two and a half hours. We got a Mega Millions. <laughs> yeah, I think they're kind of cute. We did like a Calvin Klein inspired maternity sheet, which has like been done. It's not like a super original. But all the other maternity sheets I've seen, like in the fields and the flower, I just like don't like maternity shoots. They always look so awkward to me. So I wanted to do it because obviously it's memorable. But we did some close up ones that didn't even show the belly that were pretty. I like those. <laughs> I thought you were like kissing me forehead and then look up and it was forehead to forehead and she was like, oh, it looked pretty. I'm like, okay. Well, I thought well, that's what she meant. <laughs> that forehead's kissing. It was like forehead to forehead. I thought it was like kiss on the forehead like at our wedding. You do that at our wedding. Yeah, but I'm like, it's not exactly the. You do. You always kiss my forehead. When we go to sleep. <laughs> he goes, and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I have one smile because when you have this in your food, let me see. There you go, You don't, you never really do. Do you guys tell people if there's something in their mouth and their teeth? I think it's so awkward to tell someone, but it's also awkward not to tell someone. Well, it's worse because you know they'll find out later and then. Yeah, um, I think with us, definitely tell. I think you don't tell me sometimes when I have stuff like in my face. I know, I no, I do. I just you're like, subtle when we're like in private, like not. But that's what I'm saying. Like if you're at dinner with someone else, like do you say, like, "Oh, you got something"? <laughs> it depends who's the person. Like, what's the situation? But then, like you said, they find out later. They have and then oh, they didn't tell me this whole time. No, but if it's just me and that person, like we're one on one, I don't mind it. So it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? But, but if, if there's other people, but if they're about to go. Into like a <laughs> formal dinner party, I'll right? Be like, okay, you know, your zipper or something. Oh, or well, zipper's a little different. Something. The zipper can be ignored. Because like you don't, you may not be looking at someone's zipper, so that can be ignored. But when you're staring at someone's like teeth and they have like a booger or something. But you don't want to let somebody. I don't know. Embarrass themselves. Mm -hmm. It happens, or lipstick on the teeth, or whatever. Mm. I mean, let's say if you're elected like president and you go to an inauguration <laughs> and you're about to give a speech, I'll tell you before that. I don't think he's eating parsley in his pasta before. Hmm? I don't think the president is eating parsley in his pasta before an inaugurational speech. No, I'm saying, but you'll be the president. Oh, uh, me? Yeah, I will tell you. Because <laughs> we you're definitely so, eat. I love that. You think I'm going to be the president? I will not 2024, be. 2024, <laughs> Okay, this happened. <laughs> Are you my running mate? No, you're my first man. I can't believe there hasn't been a female president. That, I mean, it's kind of kind of shocking. Mm -hmm. Israel had a female president. Yeah, I feel like most places do. I didn't know that, but I feel like that's. I'm surprised we haven't had that here. <sighs> this is interesting. You can't run for president ever, mm. right? Like you have to be a natural born citizen. I remember when Schwarz Schwarzenegger. Oh yeah. Was the. The governor. <laughs> I forgot about that. Period. He, people then thought that you know we can like he has a good chance to run for president. So they tried to look again at that law. Mm -hmm. But if you're not born in America, you can't. Really? So they, I think they tried to change it for him, so he'll be able to run. But I wonder why that is. It didn't happen. I mean, they should update it. I think our founding father is like Hamilton, for instance, because we love Hamilton. Like, he's from 
um, where was he from the Caribbean? Like, he was an immigrant. They're like, another immigrant coming up from the bottom. And he was, like, one of the, our treasurers. So it's like, why, why would they not change it? So weird. Seems so outdated, too. I get it. I mean... They're trying to protect, like... <laughs> Like, natural born Americans are crazy too. What if they just think, like, oh, they were born here, they're gonna protect our country? No, but I think it's more they want to have some kind of roots in the country, legacy. Mm -hmm. That means that your parents are from this country. Like, like it means you have more ties to the country. No, our daughter could run for president, your, and you weren't born here. She can run. No, but I'm saying, like, she. If you're born somewhere, you really understand the place. Like somebody, like our daughter will understand America more than I will. You understand America more than I do. No, but still. Like, you do. No, maybe like in theory, but not the real, like the being of it. So I think that's maybe what it is. Like you have to be born here. Every cell in your body is. <laughs> American. We found our American Israeli flag. We found a flag that's like half United States, half Israel, <laughs> which is so funny. Got it for Moses' <laughs> 20th anniversary here. By the way, happy 20th. Oh, wait. We didn't celebrate it. What day was it? Oh, we're almost there. Um, oh. We actually didn't pass it yet. What day? It was like... Mid-August. Well, we're mid-August. I think it was like two weeks before school started, and school started the first week of September. Oh my god. So we're like right there. I, I think it was like the 22nd or 20th. Or... Wow. Who would have thought 20 years later? You got this American wife, <laughs> an American baby. Mm -hmm. American baby, stay <laughs> away from me. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy we're having this baby together. What were we watching where I was like, oh, that'd be so hard. There's like a single parent. Well, we always watch TikToks where they're splitting, single mom. Oh, it would just be so alone. hard. I mean, again, I applaud it because like my mom basically raised us by herself too. She didn't really have like my dad who was in California, whatever. So I know it's like hard. I'm like, now I have like a whole new respect. I'm like, God, oh, that's like crazy. She like worked for our jobs, like fed us, entertained us, Three kids. clothed us. I think when you get older, you appreciate your parents more. I mean, they were always, they, I knew they always tried their best, but you know, you're just like, and they did pretty good, I mean. I mean, there's a bond you create with your parents once you have a baby that you can't before that. Right, I mean, you can't understand it. Like I, like, I could not imagine not having, I feel like too, that's why she like, dated a lot and try to like seek out like you know guys and stuff because it like helps like you don't want to be alone you don't want to be doing this all alone like because it's a lot and like my step my sister's dad like helped out a lot like took us to school and took us to movies so i get it it's like i don't know or then people who lose their spouses like that just don't have a choice and they come like oh my god i just thank god every single day i do gratitude and the first thing I'm, you can even check my notebooks the first thing i'm grateful for is you and i'm always like thank you thank you thank you for my husband my daughter's father in her life, like, because there's so many circumstances that people have to, like, suffer, and it's hard. It's hard. It's, like, nerve-wracking with you, but much less without you. It's, like, oh, or people who go into labor without their partner or do it by themselves. I'm, like, oh, my God. Yeah. I was, like, never. I mean, I could if I, I had to, but. It's better this way. We're lucky. Maybe. Okay, everyone's done eating. Okay, because my mural X has not kicked in. <laughs> and it's been day two. That's why I kind of wanted the cheesy pasta. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> it will happen sometimes tonight or tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm vlogging it if you guys want to know. Okay, I got to take this. <laughs> I bet this is what was irritating me. Let me see. I think, yeah, I think that might have been. I think oh, there was like a little yeah, hair. That's what it was. It was like bothering me and it was coming in and out. And I was like, okay, this is so annoying. But I did not bring eyelash glue. So I was like, 
Actually, it feels better already once I get it off. Woo! Yeah. Okay. We're gonna watch Stranger Things. Mm-hmm. I like the main guy in it now. I like the, the villain this season, and I like the... I don't know what you call him. The main character. Eddie? Yeah, Eddie Nelson. I like him. I like that now. I don't really care for the other people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get to like them more, but right now I'm kind of like, mm. it's only Yeah, well, right episode. now everyone are useless. Like, nobody's really doing anything. We're just getting to know everyone. I think if I were to do a Stranger Things ASMR, I would do either Vecna or Eddie. Because Vecna would Eddie. be... Eddie has a lot to go. Yeah, he has, good, he has a good, like, Dungeon Dragon, good voice, like that kind of stuff. But Vecna, you haven't really heard him talk yet, but from, like, what we heard on Jimmy Fallon, he seems to have a... I love that guy too. See, if I like the actors, like I like the actor that plays the villain, even though I can't see him, so I'm like, okay, I like him. Because we can get you some DMD props. And... I mean, I already looked up the Hellfire shirts. <laughs> <laughs> they saw those on Etsy. And I like his jean jacket, and I like his like mullet. It'd be really easy to do. Yeah. It's good for Halloween. Because people keep asking for a Stranger Things ASMR, and I was like, I'm trying to figure out how it worked. Yeah. And I don't want to do ones that are fun. And honestly, like, that's why I'm kind of into the shows because, like, I do like his. I do like the story. I like his kind of accent because he's British. Once again, me just finding out the entire background of everyone on the show. I tell Moses, I'm like, oh, he was in Game of Thrones. He was in this. I remember his face, but I didn't know where from. I didn't remember it at all, but we love. Oh, my God. It's getting hot. <sighs> Why don't we turn that there? I know, for the video, it was making a lot of noise. Oh, but. it is hot. I'm hot, too. All right, we got to go. Love you guys. This was really good. I'll link below Babbage's recipe. See you in the next video. Make it. It's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Bye, guys.